Let me tell you something right off the bat. One thing I didn't want to be in life and I don't want to be in life is a teacher. You know, I play tennis in front of the school here. I was thinking this morning, subjects that these kids learn. They learn everything, like the American history or European history. Then they learn French, you know. Then they learn how to read, you know, not speed reading, how to read. Then they learn all sorts of weird stuff, you know. They don't learn about the body. Now today I found out, see I always talk about the Lao Gong point, the center point in the middle of the hand. That's right, in, you know, in the middle of the hand. So, you know, today is like the last day of, of uh, Shemini Yitzhara, it's, 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 it's uh, Simcha's Torah. And I'm talking about the feet today. You know, energy through the feet for me. Two regel, 233 times two is 466. And that's the name, 466 is the name uh, Shimon, which is my brother's name. And so the energy is coming from the feet the two feet together to me is Shimon. And the energy in my body is what I'm interested in and worried about. I'm not interested in the history. I am think schools should be teaching people energy of their body. And what I want to say is that the Lao Gong point in the feet is not in the middle of the feet. It's one third way down right like on the ball of the feet, foot, which is one third way down. And then I was thinking, see things are really not divided into two, they're divided into three. And my whole mistake with my body has been on the bottom of my feet. I thought the energy point was in the middle of the foot. And it turns out to be one third the foot. And this is the same way one talks about many other things. You see, it's one one third the way down. The way you can make a a a sukkah is is two arms and then a hand, two two parts of the arm and then a hand. See, and that's what a sukkah is. It's like the right hand embracing, and that's the two periks of the arm and the tefak of the hand. And so, what do you call it? When you're doing this kind of work, it's really three. The body here seems to be, instead of thinking of the center of the body, of the, of the torso, I'm thinking of hand spans. It's about three hand spans. And so I'm, I'm what do you call it? I'm uh, doing three hand spans into my neck. Okay, so it's from the uh, from the uh, genital to the uh, to about the hara point, and then and then the hara point is um, uh, and then up. Duh, duh, duh. Well, three. My point is find these energy spots on yourself, and the major energy point is the lao gong point in the center of the hand, which is responsible for all catches, all tennis or dispensation of energy through the body. And when you can do the dispensation of energy through the body, through your hand, then you don't even need the rest. Because everything is a microcosm. Let me see.